What is happening, everybody? Polly here. We're back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, now that you can see I changed my outfit, I finally realized that you can change your gear. I mean, I pre-ordered the game, so I got access to it 72 hours early. And this is the Dark Arts robe. It's the Dark Arts set, which I actually think is pretty badass. The cloak you're wearing has actually got some cool art. It's like making it... Um, it's moving. It's pretty cool. And I like the fact that, okay, look, I don't really, the hat is pretty cool too, but I'm not going to wear the hat. It's, let's go to, so you got to go to gear menu, face wear, let me see the face. Apparently you change the, oh, this is the glasses, okay, never mind. You can change the appearance by, I guess, hitting square, I think. No, oh, wait, right here. So this, this is the hat, but I'm not going to wear the hat. I, I like the robe though. So, alright. And I got my little scarf on. So we're going to do some side content. I'm going to explore a little bit in this episode. My mic is actually dying. So I'm going to charge it for a little bit. So just enjoy the episode while it goes on. But I'll be uploading this on my YouTube channel. Polly Pipes. I'll, I'll put the link in the bottom description. So if you guys want to continue watching this. And subscribe to my channel. Subscribe for more. Alright. That being said, let's, get, let's play. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. Not for the meek. Keys, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us, did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swing. I'll get you for this. Revelio. Revelio.
Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does Cross Ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! will make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Rebellion.
Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Rebellion. Rebellion. What is well be surrounded by Jarvis. Not sure he's in at the present moment, the headmaster. Would be sure to tell him how very much you despise him. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. 
you'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. Rebellion.
Okay. Turn my microphone back on here. So let's get this main quest out of the way so we can learn that spell Repero. Apparently it's important to have to unlock more quests. More side content, which I'm looking forward to do. So I'm guessing these are fast travel points. Are we? But I don't want to fast travel right now. I want to explore the castle some more. Okay, it's like right here, I think. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. What a pair Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. Okay. We will have you casting Repero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I wonder if, like, you have to fix things around the castle and it unlocks, like, new clues or quests. Who knows? I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Click the flying page in the broken statue. Click the flying page in the defense against the dark cards. Okay, so, I mean, it gives you waypoints. I mean, I could shut them off if I wanted to. I might, I don't know. I think I might do that, maybe. I don't know. Just to be more... This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Well, it's right there. You gotta, like... Rebellion. Just hit square. Oh, wait, no. Let me open. Got it. Shut this off. Flying page must be around here somewhere. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Mending charm. So we can actually repair things in the environment with this. This is pretty freaking cool. That's I like it. that. Very good. 
If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repairer! Nicely done! Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Revelio. This is definitely a pretty good RPG so far. So I wonder what th this means. Lumos. Okay, so if it's highlighted blue, I wonder if that means Repower. anything else. Well, it's already repaired, but it's highlighted in blue. I wonder if that means anything. Ah, oh, okay. So what did I get? I got a field guide for that. So that means some of those field guide explanations mean, I guess, you can... Do certain spells to unlock certain collectibles around the map. Alright, so we gotta go to... I, I kind of wanted to shut off the... I mean, it's kind of basic if you just know where to go. I want to be a more... So I want to make it more immersive, but where's this treasure Rebellion. chest at? It's right there, it says, but... Okay, it's behind this door. Like it's locked. Oh wait. Where is it? Like a lock behind something here. Hold on. Lumos. Repair. Accio. Revelio. Repair. Accio. Wait a minute. Revelio. Oh, it's like a little puzzle. Hold on a second. Let me open it now. So wait, we got a walrus, whatever the hell that is. It looks like a owl. Never mind. I said a walrus. <laughs> okay, hold on a second here. Twenty-one, eleven, and question mark. Wait, this is so confusing. Is there any more of these? What's this? Revelio. How do I get behind this thing? Let's see here. I don't think. I think you have to. I wonder if there's a certain order I have to do this in. Okay, 21, I don't understand the numbers. So wait, we got that symbol there. So 
So what would the next symbol be? Wait a second. Rebellion. Question mark. I mean, no, hold on a second. Is there any other of these? Oh, let me see something here. Oh, look, we got a. Rebellion. The statue of Gregory the Smarry. Swarm. I don't know how to say that. The statue with an ingredient. Ingra ingra oh my god, I can't even say the word. The statue with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Sm Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Huh. Cool beans. What we got over here? What are you up to now? Okay, another f fast travel point. I'm gonna go. I might come back to this puzzle. I think. But it's interesting though, I don't... Obviously you have to match the thing with the picture of the door. And it looks, it looks like there's different... Hold on, let's see if it's the same order. So it starts with this. The spider. So it starts with a question mark. Rebellion. I wonder if, like, hold on, let me see something here. Repair. No, that's not good. Roll. Lumos. Ah, whatever, I don't know. Seems like nothing's gonna open this up. Alright, we'll just come back to that later. Let me look at these assignments that we gotta do here. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of the stone sirens encircling the fount fountain's base. What's this? It cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Let's talk to this person. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? Like potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Hmm. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. 
This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating. Hello, Lenora. Could you remind me what's so special about that empty painting? It's not necessarily special, as far as I can tell. It's some sort of puzzle that I'm trying to work out. Have a look if you're of a mind. Perhaps you can spot a clue that I've missed. Yeah, let's try this thing out. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. Oh. I should look around in case it's nearby. Yeah, it looks like a... Hold on, what is that? It looks kind of like a claw mark. It looks by a set of stairs. Let's go over here. Hold on. I don't think it's over here, though. Rebellion. No. Let's see if it's over there. Wait a second. Huh. This is it right here. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Revelio. Repair. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the moth. Accio. The moth stopped. Perhaps I need to keep casting Lumos on it. Revelio. Lumos. Ah, okay, I gotta carry it there. Where's she at? Ha! I knew there was a connection. Oh, cool. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And it's a field it's a field page guard. Where is she at? Is that her right there? Yeah, that's her right there. Revelio. Is that Lenora right there? Oh, there she is. I'm sorry. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I followed the clues. I'm not telling. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat. Although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth. I feel like I it's... Seen that. Oh, I got a collection... I got a new outfit? Let me see. Gotta stop it. So the main... The middle button is obviously the map. I can wear a hood. Okay, that's what I just unlocked. 
That's the okay. That's the, the pre-order bonus. This is my default Slytherin outfit. Let's walk around with my PJs on. Oh, I can claim my rewards? Cool, dude. So each field that I get, I get a reward from? Or maybe a certain amount? That's awesome. Dude, this is making the game so... Oh my gosh. This is making the game much more... Like the side content, it makes it more meaningful. Since there's little rewards you can collect, it makes the... It makes the experience much more thrilling, immersive. It doesn't have like pointless rewards. Like, I don't want to knock Ubisoft again, but most of their uh, open world games have pointless side side missions. It's basically like doing it feels like you're doing chores. So what is this? Is this just like a little? Um, wait a minute. Okay, this is the collections thing. This basically gives you a rundown of everything, collect every collectible in the game, which is, seems like there's a lot. But that's fun though. I love shit like this. We got more stuff right here. We got a quest reward for the cloaks. We got additional content, which we haven't finished yet. All right. And then what is this? Revalio pages, field guide pages to collect with Revalio. Okay, yeah. Which is the the spell I just used. Revalo, which is basically revealing everything. And it gives you like a little description of the statues. It's like very, it makes, everything has a, something about the lore. Every statue, everything that you find has lore to it, which is more exciting because I love stuff like this. Okay, um, what was I just going to say? I forgot. So, wait a second, is there like a key thing? So the black, wait, the black flag, does that mean a side, side quest? Let me see here. So we got the main quest right here, obviously. Main, all, completed, okay. Well, let me see here. I feel like I have to find the side quest. They don't just give them to you. Oh, I'm sorry. The black flags mean sections. What am I talking about? So this is broken out into... The flames mean fast travel points. The ones that are highlighted green means that I actually travel to that spot. I have revealed it. So every time you see like a little painting or flame, it lights up. It means you unlock that fast travel point. Okay, so let's go. Let's go talk to Professor Weasley. Has arranged me to visit the nearby village. Let's go outside there. I want to see. Let's go. I think we have a relationship with Maddie. Uh, I'm sorry, Natty. Let's go that way. But I, I, I want to keep the, the icons off. I can I want the mini map on, obviously. But I don't. It feels like the icons on the map make the game just too easy i mean less immersive it kind of just feels like you're just blindly following something i'd rather just keep the waypoint on and guess my way around the castle oh what's this i like the fact that you can just look and find cosmetic here you know what i'm gonna take this off and we're going outside. Let's not look like an idiot. Let's 
go to my gear. I like that red. Let's take the hat off. I really like this robe. Let's just, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around like this. This is fine. Okay. Let's go outside. Rebellion. Oh, this castle is so freaking gorgeous, man. Oh, here we go. Look. So certain things fly around, you actually got to be more aware of your surroundings. Rebellion. I like how there was a, a hotkey for Re Revelio. It's not part of your... Uh, so there's Loomis, there's Reparo, there's Leviosa, and then there's Accio. And then you got your hotkey, Revelio. See? Nice. We got a, the bell tower courtyard. Okay. What's this? Broken broom. This broken broom belonged to the Celine Watnaby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to the fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Can we fix this thing? Let me see. Here. I don't know if we can. Repair. I don't think it matters. Repair. I think it's just supposed to stay broken. Oh, there you are. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Oh, cool. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air Damn. after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. That's the Quidditch room right there. I mean the Quidditch area. Revelio. Oh, 
Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Revelio. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Repower. Accio. Leviosa. <laughs> Dude, I cannot wait to go to the Forbidden Forest. Look, from the Forbidden Forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Damn, dude. Dude, I'm loving this. This is gorgeous. Look at the castle. It's insane that you can literally explore that whole castle. France Hoop and Sugarfoot. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students. <laughs> As the name implies. Why so, okay. So I got the fast travel point unlocked for the Forbidden Forest. Is there any? Okay. Just let's just play the game. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Okay. Let's put my robe on. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I cannot wait till I get my broom, customize my wand, and my mount. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful Lumos. here too. And getting out of here helps me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Rebellion. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. <laughs> is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. 
What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie guy. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. We can collect stuff Maybe by there. destroying it. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just hugs. Look at the sign. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. This is because, dude, Thank I can't. You. When you go to Florida, they got a whole section in Universal. I think it's not Universal Studios. I think it's um, Islands of Adventure. It's all Hogsmeade. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Okay. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsby Village icon is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's got its own section. Okay, so... You can track any of these by highlighting the icon, pressing X, blah, 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 obviously. So we got... Where's the wand place? Right here? Let's go to the wand shop first. Look right there anyways. There's 150 field guide pages in Hogwarts Castle, and then there's 55 in Hogsmeade. Wow. Alright, let's make my wands. Kinda wanna take a screenshot, but we'll do that after. 
Wait. No, that's not the way. Yeah, not having the icons on is so much better. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Cool. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. It's just like the movie. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. It's kind of like watching a movie in a, in a way. This is proving to be trickier But the than combat, I, I actually, I actually like the combat so far. Flexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, so we can actually customize your wand. Cool. We got wood type, core type, flexibility, wand length. So, hold on. Oh. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. It looks like a horn, a unicorn's horn. That one looks like a broken finger. This one looks like a white stick. This one looks pretty Curious indeed. cool. That looks like a pretty simply straight. I don't know. I forgot what Voldemort's one looked like. I think it was straight like that. I forgot. How intriguing. I don't remember. Let me look at the wood type. Um, okay. So let me pick the style first. I don't want to go with light. Either dark black or warm brown. I kind of like... Let's look at the black. Oh, so each color... Okay, each wand style has a different color code. Okay. How intriguing. I kind of like... Hold on. This is... I'm going to be very picky right now. I don't really like that style. Curious indeed. I think I might go with this one. Or that's not bad actually. How intriguing. 
intriguing. Got this one. Uh, at least there's something here. That just looks like a, <laughs> like a tree branch. Yes, indeed. And what about How let's see. intriguing? I think I might go with hold on, let me see this one real quick. I like this one. How intriguing. This is Now let's not do black. What's this? Curious indeed. I think I want to go with this one. How intriguing. I don't like that color though. Let me see something here. So what does this mean? Curious indeed. Oh, stiff, brittle, reasonably. Does this really matter any? Does this like make a difference? How Let me intriguing. See. Ebony, English oak. Red oak. Let's go with hold on. Spruce. Oh, here's a length. Uh, I mean, does it? How intriguing! This is a very long, and this is very short. We'll go with uh, twelve inches. And then let's see here, swishy, whippy. Let's make it hard. No, let's make it. I can't think it flexible would be. I think flexible is better. Quite flexible. So I don't understand though, because they didn't really make a difference with the size. I guess it's just. I guess you're just picking it. It doesn't really make a difference. I think the only thing that makes a difference, obviously, is the color and the, and the style. Curious indeed. Actually, I think I like this one more. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Definitely not that one. That one's not that bad. Let's see. Let's see. How intriguing. I guess. Let me see here. I kind of want to stand out a little How bit. Intriguing. I don't want to be. I don't want to be looking around like I'm carrying a stick. <laughs> All right. That looks like I'm carrying around a bone. I might go with this one. I'm thinking. How intriguing. I don't think this honestly I'm making a big deal out of this. Alright, you know what? Curious indeed. A 
Well, I like the Phoenix too. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Ah, Phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Hmm, a unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Let's go with the dragon. How intriguing. Curious indeed. I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, if I'm picking the dragon, I should kind of make it look like the dragon one, you know what I mean? This looks like more like the un for the unicorn, you know? I mean, it doesn't really matter, honestly. I'm just being very picky right now. I don't blame you if you don't want to watch my stream anymore. You guys got any suggestions? Alright, you know what? I'm just going to pick up... I'm going to use... Uh, I like the honey brown. Let's go with this one. Yeah, let's go with the honey brown. And we got the warm brown. Let's go with the warm... What do you think? I like it. It looks cool. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Time is zero now. Okay, so what we'll do is let me do this first. I'm gonna save. Wait, hold on. Let's load this really fast. Let's reload this. Then I'm gonna save right here before I pick my wand out. That way, if I want to change my mind, I can just go back. I come. Okay.
Yeah, let's save right here. I'm gonna redo this, but I'm actually gonna record this on my PC, I think, because I can. That way, the mic sounds a lot better than what I have right now. So, I'm gonna end the stream here, and we'll continue on right after this.